Greetings to you all in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Where the attacks of the enemy are battleground and how we stand in the battle in God to face the enemy. Let's look at Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10. It says, Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Now to understand what is our dominion, to understand what is our authority against our enemy is vital. Anything more than the authority that God has given us can be a legal ground for the enemy to stand to attack us. If we are to look at the very beginning of creation and the authority that God gave his creation, Adam and Eve, we see God gave authority to them in verse 28 of Genesis chapter 1. Then God blessed them. God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish, the sea, the birds of the air, and over living things that move on the earth. Over here we see that God has given us dominion over the creatures he created. Above all, God has given mankind dominion over earth. Now do we have the legal authority to fight against the principalities, the powers and the rulers of the darkness of this age, or even the spiritual host of wickedness in the heavenly places. Matthew 18.18 18 shares, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loosen and release on earth will be loosened or released in heaven. Now we need to understand 
the authority that we have which is on earth we take the authority through the name of jesus we bind on earth we loosen on earth and we believe what we pray what we bind what we release on earth reaches the heavens where god almighty binds the spiritual forces destroys the principalities the powers in heavenly places and god liberates us from every attack that's rooted from the heavenly places now how do we fight this warfare are we doing it in the carnal are we fighting flesh and blood no but we have the authority it is through the boldness that we have in the blood of jesus that we enter the holiest place we draw near with the assurance of faith and our hearts are sprinkled from every evil conscience our bodies washed with pure water this enables us to stand putting on the consciousness of the whole armor of god all the weapons of god that we have received through the finished work on the cross by our lord jesus christ yes we have received the belt of truth we have received the breastplate of righteousness we have received the helmet of salvation we have received the shield of faith we have received the sword of the spirit to pray in the spirit and to have our feet shod with the gospel of peace we have the privilege to use these weapons through what Jesus Christ had completed on the cross so we fight by standing we fight by wearing on the consciousness of our protection in god we are called to stand to withstand and persevere against the wiles and fiery darts of the enemy by jesus christ the spiritual form of a battle can be resonated through the earthly or natural battle that was placed before jehoshaphat and his army just that god called them to praise him in the battle 
They stood there in the battleground with all their weapons, wearing on their complete armor. But it was God who fought the battle. Vengeance was the Lord's. The battle was the Lord's. The enemies that stood against Israel were confounded and destroyed in their own plot. In the spiritual realm, God indeed fights our battles. We are called to stand praising God. We are called to wear the belt of truth, the word of God. We are called to live in the righteousness of God. We are called to preserve the salvation of God over our minds. We are called to bear the shield of faith against every doubt the enemy throws at us. We are called to hold the sword of the Spirit, a word of God that we can call upon, we can proclaim the word every time the enemy throws his arrows against us. We are called to pray in the spirit and share the gospel of peace. That is our protection. That is our covering. And when we are covered in the armor of God, we do not fight the enemy, but we stand before the enemy where God fights for us. As the word flood, that God will raise a standard against the enemy. And that is what God does for us, fighting our battles. We do not fight it ourselves. We do not fight Satan. We do not fight principalities. But we call upon Yeshua to fight our battles. He is our banner. Yehovah Nissi who gives us deliverance, who gives us victory against Satan. And it is God who will see us through for that appointed day, for that appointed time of eternity before which God will crush Satan under our feet where we will see the complete defeat of our enemy. Stay blessed in God and in His victory.